As a freelance designer, I need a tool that helps me organize my projects and my tasks without having me break my head doing so. I've been using Notion for a while and let me tell you, it's the best design organization tool that I've found personally. I'm gonna show you how far you can get in Notion just by using their own templates for design that they actually offer. Hey guys, it's Arno. I'm a freelance designer helping you take your freelancing to the next level. If you're new here, consider subscribing guys because I drop a lot of these kind of videos. I just did a whole series on Bonsai, a really good freelancer tool. I like to do just about everything about freelancing on this channel, so be sure to follow me on that. So as I said in the intro, I actually need a tool that helps me organize my projects and my tasks without making me lose my mind. So this is why I actually choose Notion for all my organization skills, not just for YouTube. You, you can actually see that I have this Notion journal open right now that is my YouTube journal. So I use it just for about everything. So let's go right into Notion and what we can actually do with Notion. So the first thing that we're going to see in the Notion template that I will provide in the description below is these four sub pages, which is really all you need for these projects, or at least that I really need. So once we jump in, we're going to see that there's four exact pages that we can use. We have design system, meeting notes, task list, and user research. These are all, I guess, pillars of UX, UI design, or just a web designer, just design in general, really. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use Notion to create a design system that helps you keep your mind concentrated and organized at all times. So let's just click on to design system. And here's the first thing that we see. We have a little title called design system. We have an emoji with a paintbrush and we have a cover. This can be whatever you want, obviously, but I've just left it as is. So the first thing you see here is we have our assets and our files organized by section. So here we have logos, we have color, typography, tone of voice, accessibility, icons, and you can obviously add more. So from here, we can actually click onto these sections and we can even open them as a page themselves. And then we can actually see all the logo files that we have. We have PNGs, we have SVGs. We can add a lot of files here. We can scale the image front and backwards. And we also have secondary logos. We can even add tertiary logos if we have any. We can add social media logos. We can add any size and file that we want. We also have a section for social branding. This is what Notion has given us. And we also have our avatars that we can use for social media, such as the primary, the alternate avatar, and the social media banners. So let's say that now you're working with a team and you actually want to change some logos or you need to tell the team that they, this project actually needs updating. You need to make a new logo or something. Well, you just go by status, you click current, and you click need update. Now, everybody shared on this page will see that that needs update and that will let them know to check out any notes that you've added. For example, you can add a comment here saying, please check out the new logo and that way you can just communicate with your coworkers in Notion. So this is a great way to keep all of your logos intact and in one space. If we want to take a look at colors, for example, we can then organize this by primary, by secondary, by tertiary palettes if we even have them. So primary palettes, we have Acme Blue and Sky. So within that, you can actually change what the color looks like or what the notes of this little sub page looks like. So if we click on it, so this is just a really simple type in box that you can just add a code to or anything that you really want. We have the RGB, the hex and the SAS variables. We can change the name to just Royal Blue if that's what we're going for. So that's how you can use Notion for the design system. So let's take a look at our task list, for example. This is something that we would use if we were communicating with other people or just really ourselves. We have a Trello style board where we can move things around with not started, next up, in progress, or you can just change it with whatever status you actually want it to be. So if we add a new task and we say, make a new logo, right? Within that, we can then go in here and we can change it to in progress. That will actually change where the task itself is. It'll move it to the in progress board. We can also set a due date. And we can even add a to-do list, which is given to us by Notion. You can check those to-do lists off when you've actually done them. And you can also set a priority. So if it's an extremely important task that you need to get done right away, just click hi and it'll get done. So let's say you're in a meeting and you need to write some notes, some very important notes. How do you do that with Notion? Well, go on the meeting notes page that Notion gives you and create new. Within this, you can add the title for the meeting. Say you can even add the date if you want to. So September... 28th. And then Notion gives us three standard templates that we can work with. So if we have a daily startup meeting, we can just click that and it'll automatically give us the questions that we just need to fill out for our meeting. So what did we do yesterday, for example? What are we doing today? Potential blockers. 
anything like that we can just fill out really quickly and we'll have it ready and we'll have it in storage for any time that we need to look back on it. another really great part about notion is that you can do something like user research to track who you've been talking to who you've done research on and what your pool of research shows and what it finds so if we click on user research We'll see that Notion already gives us an example, but I've made one of myself. So who is the person that we're interviewing? We put the name of that person. The next part is we can actually put what they're actually doing for our research. So are they on the onboarding? Are they doing A-B testing? Something like that. We can really just change whatever the task is and we can organize by that as well. We can add the date to what date they're doing this task. So today's September 28th. And we can then change the status to if it's completed, if it needs to be done, or if the person is being contacted, or if they've canceled as well. We can also add the interviewer so if there's multiple people interviewing and we can also add the completion time which this is just a simple number box so that's what notion actually gives you in the package of templates for design it has a lot of capability and you can really do a lot with it if you really know how to use it this is only four examples and you're totally free to add any pages that you want or create your own sub pages thank you so much for watching guys subscribe if you haven't already leave a like and do comment something that you enjoyed about this video or maybe that you hated i'll take any sort of feedback because i have so little thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video